Hello and welcome to Facebook Ads Week 14. So we are indeed on week 14. If this is your first week tuning in, then basically every single week I'll show you two proven Facebook ad creatives. So these are Facebook ad creatives which are advertising dropshipping products, have millions of views, thousands of comments, thousands of engagements. Basically Facebook ads which are selling products profitably. The best thing about these creatives as well is they're all current and active right now as you watch this video. So if you're sat watching this video right now looking for a product to get your business off the ground and commit to something, then the two products you're gonna see in this video are proven and current winners. So you can see the full story behind all of these products. So essentially you'll have all of the tools and all of the information to get started with them as soon as possible. I will of course be showing you the creative, I'll be showing you where to source these these products from and it will be showing you the competitors selling these products too so you'll be able to see exactly what a proven product page description layout imagery all that good stuff and what that looks like even though i will be showing you these proven and successful businesses i just want to warn i do not condone copy and paste in what you're about to see today yes these are successful businesses selling these products profitably however put your own spin on it use them as inspiration but rebrand it rewrite your own product descriptions there's tools which will do that for you do not just copy these guys word for word and video for video and so with that being said thanks for tuning in if you want two proven winners to pop up on your youtube dashboard every single week every single friday make sure you subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the video drop it a like and let's jump straight into facebook ad creative number one okay so first things first let's take a look at what the product is and what the actual video creative looks like um, it does a really good job of showing a real dog owner a real dog using the product where the product should be used and then at the bottom here it just points out the different benefits like i said these are all proven creatives so this is what's working right now however if it was me i like user generated content i like to see somebody on screen holding a camera in a selfie format actually talking through the different products and talking through the different features rather than have this kind of viral ecom ads type style video where it's just lots of different random clips all kind of put together with some cheesy music in the background however who am i to argue with what works if it's not broken then you don't need to fix it okay so you might be thinking well how do i know it's a proven product how do i know that this product is actually selling and this is where the proof is in the pudding or the proof is in the actual comments so let's have a scroll down we can see five thousand reactions so likes heart reactions 1600 comments and 1200 shares however that engagement doesn't always equals money what we need to look at is the comment section are people actually buying this thing and it doesn't take long if we scroll down into the comment section we can see louise russell actually posted a picture i'm going to turn the sound off a picture sorry a video of her product being silly lying on this and we can see 165 reactions this is why i love the dog niche so much is because people love to post usually pictures but Louise has gone one step further and actually posted a silly video of a dog using the product. Before we carry on, I just wanna say a really important note actually, something that has literally been pretty much transforming my businesses since I've been doing it. In the first sort of four or five years of dropshipping, I've always had a heavy focus on having as much social proof on my actual stores, on the product pages as possible. However, what I've found is that the more social proof you actually put into your creative, the more social proof in the actual comment section like this is what makes the real difference because if people have that social proof and people can get sold on the product and want to buy the product there and then on Facebook, then what you have on your actual product page becomes less important because they've got all the information, they've seen that people have bought this and happy with the product. The only thing next they need to see is the price. And as long as they're happy with that and that's the first thing they see on your store, they're gonna hit that add to cart button and go straight to your checkout process. So what I've been doing, instead of asking people to come back to my store and leave a review there, I've been sending the link to the Facebook ad creative, the link to the actual post on Facebook and saying, hey, would you mind coming back and dropping a comment and an image of the product there? So we've seen Louise has bought this product and she she loves it this was just three weeks ago claire just ordered her second one one week ago k trotter says what size should i need for a jack russell you want to avoid this as much as possible we'll take a look at the competitors in a second we want to make sure that the size guide is clear as crystal and everybody can see it wendy Wu says she's just ordered hers karen says she's just bought one from their website two weeks ago angela's just received hers this was less than a day ago more and more people asking about the size basically what we can see is there's plenty of people who have actually bought this product from 
from this actual company and that confirms we've got a winning product a winning creative and what we're about to see now is a winning product page so this is the product page in question we can see it's quite clean it looks pretty good um, we've got a couple of different features and things added so sold 249 um, 18 visitors 20 visitors are browsing this that gives off that impression of scarcity they also have a countdown timer for their sale too however the biggest thing the biggest fall down in my opinion on this product page is there's no size guide this is going to be the first kind of area of the page that people see and the first thing they're going to be thinking is a size guide there's no indication between how big is a medium how big is a large what does jumbo even mean what you need is a third party app a little button people can click on so it pops up on the screen they can see i've got a jack russell this is the size i need and there's no need for them to even scroll down or consume all this further information because they've already seen that people are buying it on facebook they've already seen what it does from the facebook ad creative the only things left are how expensive is it and what size do I need? Even if we scroll all the way through, let's keep going down and see how far do we get before we actually see a size guide. Okay, so here we go. We finally hit a size guide. In my opinion, this is way too far down the page. People have seen all this information. They've seen all these benefits from their Facebook ad creative. Like I mentioned earlier, the only two things left for a customer to do once they've watched the video is see how expensive is it? Can I afford it? Am I willing to pay that? And then secondly, what size do I need? As a price then, we've seen these guys are selling it for 37 pounds. Let's take a look on AliExpress. To be honest, this is one of the first suppliers I found. They're pretty competitive in terms of price. If you established a form of relationship or had a consistent amount of orders going through your business each day, you could definitely um, negotiate a VIP link or you may even be able to find an agent which could supply it cheaper for you just to bump up that average order value. But basically you can buy these products for £20.49. They're selling it for 37 which leaves about £17 as a margin. Now to be honest, that's not perfect as a margin. It could be better than that. A couple of things to consider. So these guys are not offering free shipping so there will be a shipping cost on top of that. And secondly, the dog niche there's endless products in the dog niche so when it comes to offering upsells and cross sales and things like that it's a really good way of bumping up your average order value and selling the consumer on something else so all in all a great product a very relevant product for this time of year obviously with it being the uk when you take your dog out for a walk it's pretty much going to get wet and muddy no matter what month or what week it is but there's a special emphasis on the winter months like november december and january um, february march even into april times with april showers so this is going to be a consistent seller at least for the next four months. Before we move on to product number two, I just wanna very quickly take 20 seconds to show you my free on-demand training. It's 100% free, won't cost you any money whatsoever, and essentially it's a one to two hour training which will show you how to build and launch your online business, your online dropshipping business in the next 21 days. So that's go from zero from scratch to have a fully fledged, up and running business that's making money in 21 days. Like I said, it is 100% free. It is one to two hours long. So make sure you block out some time and bring a notepad and pen because there's gonna be a lot to cover as you can imagine starting a business, but believe me, it will be worth it. For anybody who does watch the training, I will also be giving you a 100% free copy of my 194 profitable product ideas for 2023. So if that's of interest to you and you do wanna get started with your dropshipping business, it will be the top link in the video description below. Moving on to product number two then this one is a no-brainer if you're watching this in the uk this is one of the probably easiest products to sell right now given the time of year it is not only is it winter so people naturally need to stay warm once they leave the house we're in a cost of living crisis energy bills are going up people can't afford to heat their homes to the same temperature as they once could so people are looking for cheaper ways to stay warm at home and this product it goes without saying is a perfect way to do that not only that though the market for leggings is at its strongest for january because the most popular new year's resolution of course is to get in shape so not only are people looking for leggings to buy to go to the gym they're looking for leggings to stay warm when they're commuting when they're out and about walking and they're looking for leggings to stay warm and comfy at home because electricity prices at the moment in the UK are freaking ridiculous. So all in all, a perfect proven and in-demand product right now. Let's take a look at the engagements then because like I said, we need to confirm people are actually buying this thing. Then we have stone cold evidence that nobody can argue basically if people are saying they're buying this thing, nobody can argue that. So 20,000 reactions, 19,000 comments, and 14 million views. I mean, a creative doesn't get that level of viewership unless it's definitely selling, or at least definitely making that company some money. So let's take a look. We can see that Tarin from 11 weeks ago, yep, they're warm, defo waterproof. I used them for sledging with the kids last year, great buy. Wendy says she has two pairs. 
Jean says she bought two pairs six weeks ago. Fiona says she has these and they're comfy and warm. Nicola says she hopes they'll be good because she's bought them for her daughter. Nicola says she has three pairs and the fit is incredible. Danny says he has these and they keep him very warm. Rianne says it's the best buy ever five days ago. Monique says she bought two pairs last year and they're fantastic and warm. Amy says she's got these. Glenda says she's bought these. Maureen says they've just arrived today. It's just comment after comment of people saying they've bought this product. There's no two arguments about it. This is a proven product that's selling right now. Let's take a look at the Shopify store selling this product. And from my experience, this screams out Chinese website. This is probably a Chinese supplier that's created a website to sell this product. However, fear not, this is an impulse buy product. This is not a products that people try and compare brand for brand and shave off 50p to save some money. This is the sort of products that people see, want and buy there and then. So even if you had to double the price, I definitely think you could do that. These guys, as we can see, are selling them for $13.99, which is really, really cheap. However, they are charging a six pound shipping fee on that. So it's basically 20 pounds all in. And we'll take a look at some suppliers in a second. What they do do is they actually, what the previous Shopify store didn't do is they put a size guide in the actual variants. So there's no fishing around, looking around for what size do I need? They've gone with the European, or I think it's European, maybe just English size guide of XL is 12 to 14 to XL 14 to 16, so on and so forth. Moving down, it pretty much just reiterates what's in the creative. So like I mentioned earlier, this information in my opinion is becoming more and more obsolete on a Shopify store now because it's the sort of info that you put in your video ad creative. So as long as you've got a good creative, people have already seen what this GIF is showing. People have seen um, the high waist design. People have seen what it's lined with. People have seen all the reviews from the comment section. So when somebody comes onto the store, there's two things they need to know about products like this. Number one, what size do I need? And number two, is it worth the price they're selling it for? Let's take a look at a supplier I found on AliExpress then. So this particular one is called the Trend Store. The reason I chose these guys to feature on the video is because they were established in 2019. They've been around for three or four years now. That's rare for an AliExpress supplier. Typically store will kind of jump on a trend for say um, six months and then close down. However, as I say in all of my videos, do your own research. Contact CJ, contact Zendrop, contact BS Dropship and try and find an agent with a reputable reputation that can ship it to your customer as quickly as possible at a reasonable price. As for these guys then, they're selling them for £7.26. That does include free shipping because it's quite a small and compact and lightweight item. This does indeed come with a 15 day on time guarantee as well. So if we really wanted to try and compete with this store here, we'd be looking at about £12 margin, which is quite tight. But like I said, we don't need to compete in drop shipping if we're selling impulse buy products because they're the sort of products people aren't gonna waste 10 minutes doing a bit of research on. If they're cheap enough, affordable, and somebody wants them bad enough, they're just gonna buy them there and then. If that wasn't the case, then 90% of e-commerce websites would be out of business because people would just go straight to Amazon. And on that note then guys, I'm gonna wrap up Facebook Ads Friday week 14, I believe. You've just stuck with me this far. I really do appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope I've given you some inspiration to get your business kick started, take some action and get it off the ground. If you need some extra help, I mentioned it earlier in the video, make sure you check out my free training. It's 100% free, won't cost you any money whatsoever. It's the top link in the video description below. So make sure you head there and check it out. And if you do watch it, then your reward will be 194 profitable product ideas, just like the ones you've seen in this video in one handy PDF for you to have. Thanks again for watching guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.